Well, good morning, everybody. We're kind of having a lazy summer day here so far. Lazy in the fact that we haven't gone anywhere yet. And actually, Jacob is still sleeping. If I dared, I would videotape him. I don't even think it's out. I think it's almost noon, actually. I keep trying to wake the kid up, and I guess children that are in their tween years, or especially him who's growing, need extra sleep. You know, the one thing that I was really looking forward to moving to our new house was having a dishwasher. And yet, the dishwasher is broken and will not be fixed for a couple more weeks. So I get to be the dishwasher. The sink is right here. So I have this lovely window to look out of um, and see the neighbor's backyard, which is actually quite nice. But I'm gonna have you help me by me having a good attitude washing the dishes because I know you're watching me. So here we go. Let's see how fast I can get this done. almost 12 40 in the afternoon I had plans to go to the gardening center today because we have a garden spot and I want to do that and hopefully we can get there still but Jacob's still asleep I keep checking to make sure he's not dead he's not dead that that kid needs sleep he stayed up watching the Cavs game like late last night I found out he and Joe did and so that's probably why he's so tired but he needs to get up and he needs to get rid of all of his energy so he can go to bed at a decent hour because I don't want to be up all night tonight almost one o'clock in the afternoon. Do you think that you should wake up? Mom, can you stop video dating? John, I'm going to introduce you to one of America's greatest foods, easy cheese. <laughs> Would you like to see how you do this? Okay, hold the cracker. Watch, watch. Well, not too much. Mmm, processed American food. Yeah, that's what America's all about. Processed, yucky food. Hello. Did you go full two miles? Yeah. Good job. Watch this. Open. See? He's figured it out. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. <laughs> I bought it just to show him what it was Did he like. Just, he's choking on it. <laughs> putting into your body, John. A lot of chemicals that I don't know what they are. You know, all food has chemicals but in it. But the main ingredient is water. Because you always, they always list the main the one thing that it's the most of at the top. Then whey. Cheddar cheese. Canola oil. Well, I haven't died from it, so he'll be okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Except I don't, I haven't had this in 10 years. Okay, my baby. <laughs> Henley, did you want some? Ooh. Oh, gross. <laughs> Is he got it already? That was fast, John Handley. <laughs> okay, I have to finish making our real dinner. Easy cheese. It's what's for dinner. There are people who wanted to know what, <coughs> what we are having for dinner. But I'm not allowed to mention their name. The person who was wondering. Oh, I know who it is. <laughs> I am making a chicken tamale casserole. So in here, it's the masa bottom. Well, I made it with cream corn. Now I have to tell you a story about cream corn really fast. When I was in eighth grade, I took a summer geography class so that I could have enough room to do orchestra and whatever else I had to do. Okay. So anyway, geography, summer geography class in eighth grade, his name was Mr. Shank and Mr. Shank worked for National Geographic as well as being a teacher. And so he traveled all over the world. And one time he actually got to go to a plant or something, a place where they make cream corn. And he told us that he, as they were walking through touring the plant, I don't know if this is true or not, he saw this man working there, you know, with the little thing on their head and the plastic gloves and everything, blow his nose into the cream corn. And so... Hey, Jacob, do you know what we're having for dinner? <laughs> I don't like uh, cream corn. I'm leery of it. But this has cream corn in it. And it's this corn muffin mix and cream corn. Oh, it's getting cooked. It'll be fine. So, mm. I 
guess we're having boogers for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got the rotisserie chicken, and I'm going to shred it up and put... Um, How much does it call for? Two cups. I just got a big pan. Or yeah, big, keep going. Yeah. Um, and red enchilada sauce. You're done. You want to pull it yourself? Okay. Well, I'm going to have some of that chicken. Well, how is it running since you haven't done much of that for a long time? Uh, ow. <laughs> okay, now... With a wooden spoon, it said? I'm going to take this and poke some holes. Notice how expert I am at poking holes. I have no idea why you do this. So the sauce can get down inside. Except there's not very much sauce. I think I need to probably go get more, find more sauce downstairs because I know we have more. Now you put the chicken on top. Mixed with the red enchilada sauce. This bread stuff has sour cream and green chilies and cheese and cream corn. What are you doing, John? Don't touch the pan. It's hot. And then we'll put cheese on top of it. Put it back in the oven for five minutes. Okay, now we'll put the cheese. I know, I'm an awesome chef. Now I'll put it back in the oven for five to ten minutes. And hurry and cut up the cilantro and get the sour cream and dice some tomatoes. Grab some grapes and we're ready. You don't put the grapes in here though. So it comes out of the oven looking like that. I'm gonna chop it up into pieces, scoop it out like a casserole, and top it with cilantro, tomatoes, avocados, and sour cream. This stuff is really good. Whoa! We're gonna have to save this recipe.